Johannes from Namibia, the first fighter ever to come to this country from that African country. Thank you, Johannes. What's the weight? No. 75.6. Beautifully done. Sosai Vaka. Okay, four professional fights. Paul Burke. 74.7. 74.7. Well done, Paul. Is that okay? Paul Burke, uh, who's a great favourite and a family man, uh, Fox Sports. Did you watch back uh, your big win on Fox Sports uh, last year, Paul? Come in close, Paul. Oh, yeah, had a bit of a look at it, mate. Yeah, yeah. Went, went all right. Andy Raymond mentioned that you're a father of three, so you combine business. I met one of your colleagues at the weigh-in tonight, uh, a guy who said he worked with you uh, maybe building the Dorset, uh, not the Dorset, but the, um, the Scoresby Freeway. Were you part of that work one stage? No, no, different, different, different game. So wrong one, but I'm also a father of two. Further two, I'll get it correct. <laughs> I thought you said three. Paul, you're, you're meeting a guy called Sosai Vaka from uh, Auckland via Tonga. Do you know anything about him at all? I know a little bit about him, but it yeah. uh, doesn't look overly strong, and I, I feel pretty confident with this one. Yeah, yeah. stepping up. It, it's sort of been a, a slow journey through boxing, hasn't it? But now you're a mature man and a family man and all those things, you're, you're looking good. Yeah, we're getting to move on and been going all right. Murray Thompson welcomes you back to the center ring for our semi-main event. Six rounds of international super middleweight boxing. Introducing on the left, on my left, originally from Tonga, now living in Auckland, New Zealand, with Henry, his corner coach, at 27 years of age in professional boxing. Nine fights, five wins, one draw, three losses, at 75.60 kilograms. He tipped the scales last night at the Dorset Gardens. He's fought Kerry Foley, Aussie Kerry Foley, who fought on the Hamda, Hamden and Mundine fight on Wednesday night. He also fought, he's fought New Zealand's Lee Oddy and Simon Palmer. Ladies and gentlemen, wearing trunks of black with gold, would you welcome Sosa Vaka, New Zealand. And across the ring in the blue corner with Anthony Cox joining Brian Slatter from Berwick. He's a Berwick bolter, ladies and gentlemen, for professional fights. One win, one draw. A family man. His birthday is a Gemini. Coming off a big win here on Murray Thompson's show last October at 74.70 kilograms. A family man wearing Collingwood magpie colours of black and white. 
We do welcome Paul Becca Burr. James Bolland, your third person in center ring. Judges Brian Memory, Alan McColl, Malcolm Boulder. Timekeeper at the bell, Damien J. Memory. Okay, Fraggy, this is, um, <laughs> get the timekeeper, I get the pronounce out of the ring here. This is the first of a six by three minute round fight. Baca with nine fights. Paul Burke with four, about similar experience. Six threes. Eight threes is the end one. Yeah. Six threes, yeah. First of six rounds with three minutes each. Vaca in the black and yellow, Paul Burke in the black and white. Vaca from the red corner and Paul Burke from the blue. Let's see what happens here. Both with similar records. Vaca with nine fights, five wins. Paul Burke with four fights. One win, one draw, so he's a little bit short on the win record there, but he's been in there. Vaca's been in with some real good people. So far, it's been a pretty interesting night of boxing. We have one more fight to go at the end of this with Omotoso in the main event, who has knocked out three guys out of three fights. Let's see what happens. Frankie, what are we seeing here so far? Well, um, Paul, Paul's, he's your, your basic boxer. He's very fast. He's a lean fighter. Um, he's skilled. He's, he keeps his hands up. The, the other guy, Farka, he, um, he's a bit of a slugger. But he's, uh, he's got a bit of power behind. He's got a bit of kick to his punches. Looks a bit more experienced, too. He is a Yeah, he looks, ex he, lo he looks experienced. There's no doubt about that. But uh, by the same token, the other guy, uh, you can only do what you can do. And Absolutely. He's doing everything right so far. So he's keeping far. his hands up. He's keeping his Ooh. elbows in. Nice little rip to the body from Burke to, to Vaca. Good little rough left rip to the body. Lovely punch. Yeah, Paul's uh, taking the fight to Vaca. But Vaca's landing more at the present moment. He's, oh, I don't know about that. Well, I, th I think it's I even think, each or two. Well, I'd have, I'd have Vaca slightly ahead, I think, but interesting to see He's still happens. making the fight. He, no, you, you might be right there, but Paul's still making the fight. He's still coming up on him all yeah, the he's time. he's walking up on him, but... Oh, that was punch. a beautiful good left punch. to right cross. That was beautiful. I, th I think the other guy, if you let him take the fight to you, he'd be a lot more effective. Yeah. He's being backed up a lot. And I yeah. Don't, I, don't, I can't see the reason he's being backed up. I, I'm, to keep him off balance, Gus. Yeah, but I mean, he's not being hurt, and there's no reason for him to be Oh, back. I see what, what you're I mean. saying, yeah, yeah. Maybe Vaca wants to counter more. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe that, that's his plan. Yeah, he looks like he's waiting to counter, doesn't he? Maybe he's a cagey customer. Yeah. Well, I don't know where to go on that one, mate. So if I don't know where to go, I'm going to make it even. I don't like even rounds. I don't like even rounds, but I really can't. Well, they were both still feeling each other out, weren't yeah. they? In that? Yeah. I don't like even rounds. As I say, judges are supposed to make decisions. I'm a commentator trying to commentate and score at the same time. It makes it difficult. And uh, I've missed maybe a couple of niceties in that. But I'm going to make it an even round. Yeah, I think it was even. Paul threw a beautiful left hook, right cross yeah. combination. Yeah. They, they hit flush too. Be interesting to see that in the second round, because I think Vaca might have to open up a little bit. Round two. Jimmy Slatter's uh, brother in there, Brian Slatter, in Paul Berg's corner. Here we go, second round. We'll, we'll Six by three. I gave that round even, didn't separate them. You can even see that uh, 
You can see that uh, Varka is just hanging back there. He's oh, got look, a plan. He's, he's a little bit more plan. active. He's a bit more active this start of this round than he was before. A little bit more active. Maybe the first round feeling him out, of course. Well, I don't think the reason why he's probably going back is because I don't think he's got a jab. Guts. Yeah, could be. I don't think he's got a jab, up. and he's just waiting to yeah, counter. Yeah. He, he the other like, guy's jab. Yeah, he looks like countering all the time. Yeah. He doesn't throw left jabs. Mm. He, you see that right hand lead, you see that? He hasn't thrown Another a left. Right hand. He, right hasn't, hand. he hasn't thrown a left jab yeah, the whole yeah, fight. Yeah, he's a counterpuncher. But he's going to have to do a bit more. He's going to have to land a bit more. Although I think he's more energetic in the start of this round than he was last time. Yeah, well, Paul's fighting a good fight because he's, uh, when he's throwing his jabs and that, he's keeping his distance and his right hands. Oh. That was good. He's definitely got the power of Arca, but he's not utilizing it, is he? Not all of it, no. Got to shorten his punch to get him a bit closer. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Hey, he's doing better this round. Well, there was hit and miss. Paul's pub. Be, due to be, because of his inexperience in comparison yeah. to Vargas fighting a brilliant fight. Yeah, he's doing all right. Not doing too bad at all. I'd like to see him just pump that jab more frequently. Get the jab going. Keep your hands up. Get the jab. Yeah, I'd keep. I, I'd concert, I'd get him. I'd be telling him to keep his hands up because this guy can punch. Yeah. Good body punches. Again, yeah. good body punches. They're going to make a difference if he keeps landing them in a round or two. That left hook was almost there. Almost there. Good Paul, Paul good. gets a few good head shots in. Yeah, he got a good right hand counter on that one. I think Paul's really keep his hands up, as you say, and pump that jab a bit more. Yeah. This other guy's got his head stuck in the air a bit. Right oh, hand that was a that beautiful. Oh, he, he wobbled hurt him. him. He hurt him. He did hurt him. Let's see what happens now. And he's cut his eye, yeah. too. And he's hurt him. Yeah. Oh. That's... Oh, that was a good, good exchange. on the basis of that cut. Round three. Vaca was hurt in that third, uh, in that second round. He was cut in that second round. And I had him going quite good until that time. I had to give... There we are, Paul Burt. I had to give that round to Paul. Yeah, yeah. Even though Vaca went good the first half He's round. keeping his hands up really yeah. well. That's very good. And he landed some good And he got there. a good right hand yeah. there, too. Vaca looks a bit desperate. Oh, another one. There's a right hand again. Yeah, Vaca's his... open. He, he, when he throws his punch, he keeps his hands down low. And he's got his head stuck straight up in the air. And it's straight up in the air. You're right. Even though he's getting the shots in, he's still leaving himself yeah, wide open. open. He's trying to take the pressure. Whereas Paul's keeping his hands yeah. up. Buck has taken the play away from Paul a bit. 
Ball's going to get a bit more efficient. Paul's still keeping his, his hands up very high. Good. Very, it's very, very good. It's a polished show he's putting on. I say that to every fighter I talk to. Hands up, head down. Yes, Paul's aggression is doing the job for this round. Now, now the other guy's putting the pressure on now. Yeah. Now he's starting to tire. He's putting pressure yeah. on Paul now. Paul's starting to huff and puff a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> See, Paul has to realize in his own mind that he can hurt this guy. He's got to look for the shot to hurt him. He knows he can hurt him now. He knows he can hurt it. him now. He's got to think about it and land those punches that'll do the job. So I think Paul's getting a little touch tied himself. So I, I like Vodka in this round so far. Yeah. Ooh, oh, good. Good, good right hand. Damage I thought I was going to do that one. This is a darn good fight, yeah, it's a good guys. fight. So far, the card's been pretty good, except for one fight, maybe. It's very entertaining, this fight. And you can't... Oh, they both nearly knocked each other out. Yeah. Yeah, Paul's definitely got the power if he can find a way to get it there. Lock is evading it. Good punches to the body. He's doing a Paul's good starting to get a little bit tired. Yeah, he's he dropping his hands. Hands are coming down. Yeah. Yeah. Dropping his hands. And they... That even tell you the truth. It's, it's very close, isn't yeah, it? That it's even. very close. We've got another three rounds to go. I, 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 I've got Paul a point in front. Yeah, I wouldn't argue with that at all. I've got him a point in front. Because he wobbled um, Barker a couple of times. Cut, he cut his eye. And... Round four. Fourth round. Three rounds to go, we're even in the fight. We got the fight dead even, we're even in the fight. Three rounds finished, three rounds to go. Vodka comes out and takes the play right away. Right away he takes the play to fall. Paul, Paul's just got to concentrate and keep his arms up. His hands up. Oh, oh that was a beautiful right hand. Yeah, he's got to time it so he can get to that head. Vodka yeah, he got just head missed up. the mark a little bit, but he... he Oh, yes. Ooh. Paul takes the punch really well. This is a good fight. I, I'd say this was even better than the previous fight. Because these guys aren't wrestling. Previous two fights. Yeah, they're doing a bit more. Vodka's doing a bit more. And they're staying at distance and not falling yeah, into each other. Yeah, they're staying at distance and therefore they're giving each other the room to punch. Yeah. And Paul needs the room. Paul's got those long arms, it looks like. Yep. And he's got power in them. He needs the he needs the room. Vodka's better on the inside. This is a good fight. It is a good fight. Vodka's pulling away, I think, in this round. Paul's getting tired, that's right. Paul, Paul is getting oh, tired. What an uppercut. Wow, he got hurt. He is he's hurt. Getting, he's definitely getting tired. And that uppercut was a beauty. i tell you what. Paul's going to have to pull out every reserve he's now, got. Now, now Vargas taking the fight to Paul. Yeah. I'll tell you what, many more of those and Jimmy would have stopped it, I think. He's keeping his hands up. That's what's saving him. Oh, wow. Rock is doing very well this round. He is doing well. Yeah, he even got a jab in there, mate. 
Lead right hand, lead right hand again, lead right hand again, lead right hand again, and left hook. He got away with four lead right hands. There it is, that's the end. Four lead right hands. What changed, turned that fight around was the fact that Varga took the fight up. Ah, to right Paul. up to him. Took it right up to him. And Paul was tiring and Varga took yeah. advantage of it. Whether he'd been, that was his fight plan, I don't know. He did a hell of a job, that's for sure, Varga. He was cut and hurt, came back. This guy ran out of condition and that contributed to his loss. It did, it did. The Buck is a, a handy fighter. He's yeah. a good fighter. Yeah. There's no two ways about that. Yeah. He's a good fighter. Yeah. And he's got, the, guys. he's got the attitude that you need to be a top fighter. Yeah. yeah. The time, Damien Membry said, was 2 minutes 20 seconds. Round four, referee Jim Boland stopped the contest. Your winner from Auckland, New Zealand. Susa Vaka. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Sosa. Originally from Tonga, now living in Auckland. Uh, well done, coming to Melbourne for the first time. We are so happy to uh, come here. I'd like to say a special thanks for my coach. I've been with my uh, new coach for months now. But I'm a little skill for him. I want to say thanks to all of my supporters here. I want to give a big hand for him. Thank you all very much. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Vaka. Come on down from Magnificent Decker Constructions. Best preliminary fighter, Big Pat Rulo. Come on down, Pat. Congratulations. One prize tonight. Okay, I'll hold the box. And may God rest the soul of Bob Johnson and Sid Ellis. On behalf of the boxing family, we will remember you. Thank you, Damien. Bob and Sid, keep up. Okay, our most courageous boxer on behalf of the Johnson family goes to Queensland's Brian Fogarty. Brian Fogarty, our most courageous boxer. Here he comes. Give Brian a big round of applause. He showed tremendous courage against Pat Rulo. How effective is that? Pat Rulo, our best boxer on the undercard. Brian Fogarty, our most courageous. Brian, a special award. Well done, Brian. Thank you. Thank you, team. Matt Waitman and all the team from the Johnson family. 66.1. Haircut. Okay. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Now your opponent is a very experienced fighter, isn't he? You've probably seen footage. He's fought some of the best fighters in Australia, including world champ Love More Nadu and Mark Katsidis. How do you think you're going to go against Sawan Alert? Oh well, I've saw his fights uh, the way you said, but yeah. it doesn't change anything to me. No, it doesn't move me. It doesn't change me not to stop him tomorrow night. Now, are you prepared to go uh, the full journey or you think you might uh, get inside the journey? What's Murray been talking about? Uh, I don't think you can go a long run with me. 
You're ready for a long match, are you? No, I'm not long. Match. Very short. Very you're, short. You usually tell me what's going to happen. Anything you, I told you, you know, it, you it, should, it should be so. So I'm I've got to get. I've tomorrow. got to be ready for a short one. Okay, uh, and I promise I will do that tomorrow. Grab your seats, here we go, main event time! Your judges are appointed for our main event of the evening. Brian Membry, Alan McCall, Andrew Campbell. Members of the professional boxing and combat sports at ringside, representing sports minister, James Merlino. Tonight we congratulate Murray Thompson, Fighters Factory Promotions, 44 big shows, culminating in our main event, eight rounds of international welterweight boxing. Your ringside physician, Dr. John Jury. Your timekeeper at the bell, Damien Memory. Referee, World Championship referee and judge, Malcolm Bulner. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rock? Are you ready to box? Here we go. Eight rounds of international welterweight boxing. Introducing in the red corner.